There's this cool moment in season one of Game of Thrones that tells you a lot about Jaime Lannister. When Jaime confronts Ned after Tyrion has been taken prisoner, he cannot wait to duel Ned. Just look at that face, he wants to fight Stark so bad. Yes, part of it is because there's been tension between these characters since Robert's Rebellion. But there's another reason that completely changes the scene when you know about it. At the end of Robert's Rebellion, when Ned goes to save his sister at the Tower of Joy, he battles against three Kingsguard knights. One of them is Sir Arthur Dane, considered to have been the greatest swordsman alive during the time. He was also Jamie's hero and mentor on the Kingsguard. And somehow Ned Stark cut him down? In Jamie's mind, Ned must be this insanely talented warrior, so he's falling all over himself for this challenge. But of course, we know that this isn't the case. In the show, at least, Ned is not that good. Arthur Dane was stabbed in the back, and you can see Jamie's disappointment when he realizes that Ned isn't who he thought he was. This is insanely good character development, and that's why I can't stop thinking about how, 